and he was 2010 Republican candidate for the 17th New York Congressional Congregation District. Mr. Melly is an international security consultant that has worked in West Africa, Middle East, Europe, and Latin America. He is a U.S. Army veteran that served with the United States Military Training Mission to Saudi Arabia, Tabu, from 1981 to 1982. His military assignments included the 3rd United States Infantry, the Old Guard, escort to the President of the United States. Which President was that? <laughs> that was uh, Connor and Reagan. Okay. Good. Please, go ahead. We were very young at that time. Yes. <laughs> escort to the President of the United <laughs> States, <laughs> Intelligence and Security Command, Defense Intelligence Agencies, and Office of the Assistant Chief of Staff for Intelligence at the Pentagon. Recently, he was 2010 Republican candidate for the New York 17th Congregation District. He is a requested speaker by business groups and colleges on global security issues, counterterrorism, and a U.S. and U.S. Constitution. Mr. Mayor. Divine word 
without promising the place to practice it free from harm. The Creator would not tell us to live a certain way and then not provide us the place or the garden in which for us to nourish it, to grow in it, and to practice it. In the entire world, in the entire world, I'll state that only in the USA are free people protected from their own government and guaranteed by the law, guaranteed by the law, the freedom of religion. People of every culture and religion live side by side, protected from their own government, generation to generation, free to worship as they believe, without threat of harm from their own government. Think about it. Just think about it. In all of history, where on earth, in our own time, do people of every religion and culture live harmoniously with each other without fear of persecution for following the teachings of their particular prophet, except in the United States of America? There must be a reason for it. There must be a reason for it. The people, the people who carry that divine message, who teach that divine message, and live individually as that divine message instructs them to live in the land prepared for them to do it in, I say, or I ask, become a community of messengers. When a united community of messengers embody that message of tolerance for others and brotherhood toward all, do they not become a nation of prophets? We find ourselves in our time, in this generation, in this land, in this room, free to express our beliefs just as we were promised. This place must be the place that was foretold. This must be the place promised to the generation that will live according to the divine message of live and let live. The United States of America is not perfect. We have problems. But the United States of America is the fulfillment of that prophecy and the reward for practicing it if we stay true to it. We are not perfect, but I've been around the world and I can tell you, and many of you know, people who have fled perse religious persecution. This room is exemplary of the lessons taught by the prophets to live side by side, to have tolerance for others, to promote brotherhood for all. To live and let live. Look around this room and consider how fortunate we are to be in the company of so many true believers, scholars, and true friends, if I may say. In the land promised to our fathers, where our children are free to live and let live. And I hope that we can work together towards fulfilling that prophecy.